Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. I would like to express gratitude to God for giving the opportunity to attend this event. I also would like to thank to the audience who set the time and the place for me in this topic. Ladies and gentlemen, Indonesia is a harsh country and absolutely fit. We have millions of different natural resources from the sea, forest, mining, and many more. Indonesia is is predicted to be one of the developed countries which are able to take over the world. In fact, European countries often make the calculation that if the Indonesian people unite and work together to develop this country, Indonesia will become a superpower country like America or Russia. However, why has Indonesia not been able to be a developed country until now? Perhaps our country does not have the good human resource. However, I feel there is one thing that becomes the core of all the problems. All the problems that we are absolutely come from corruption. Of course, corruption makes our country become unstable and does not have a solid system. The state finance and destroy. The development is going to be started. And ultimately, the people of Indonesia do not get their rights. Indonesian people are very miserable. Our country is not going to be well because the, the uneven development bad channel, educational subsidy, and the standard development of public facilities. Several of us may not feel the impact of corruption directly, but our friends who live in the isolated areas feel it so much. They cannot cross the river because there is no bridge. They cannot be an educated people and they cannot connect to the world because they do not have internet access. In fact, they have the same opportunity to the people in the big city, but they haven't. Then how to tackle cor corruption in his nation? How to wipe out the corruption? Ladies and gentlemen, to wipe the corruption out, we need much more patience and work harder. We must tell ourselves to not take something that does not belong to us. Corruption is bigger than something small and involves into a debt to the last sum of money. Train us to be afraid to take something that does not belong to us and continue to be grateful for the sustenance that has been given by God. In addition to teach yourself to keep working hard and do not take anything that is not your right. We also have to educate our children to have an independent edited house and forbid them to take other people's stuff without permission. Ladies and gentlemen, our corruption is a difficult problem to overcome, but I believe we can stop it. Indonesia requires us to unite, promote, and liberate the country from corruption. Thank you for your attention and good morning. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.